They're going to surprise people here locally, and that's why you see this uh, arena filled up. And it's been because of the play of that man right there. In a Power 5 conference, and you have to have an open tryout, period. Things aren't looking good, but... Round and down. Drives in, missing him in the paint. And Coach Infield talked at length today that those are the type of shots right there in the paint where the Trojans simply need to be better. And Shoftenar, the recipient of the beautiful pass from Gary Payton, the second. Shoot around, but especially now in the game that but he understands. Balls in his hands, good things happen just like right there. Nice speed in the flush from Duvivier. They are very good defensively, hanging tough in the game, shooting free throws, clutch down the stretch. Reed! Get it all in the kid's head, just let them continue to play. And infield gives his team all types of. Kick, Reed, doing it all. Looking to steal, Reed off the bounce, right in again. Tough in our catch, shoot, and hit from deep. Kick out, Schaftenauer lines up and hits his second three. Schaftenauer. They need all of their scores active. Reed gets the bucket. Oh, let's do it. There you go, on cue. They've worked well at the start of the game. Vivier turns the corner and uses the glass. Vivier, Reed, Peyton, right before the shot clock expires. One of the surprise teams in college basketball. Peyton again, right before the shot clock expires. Here we go, McLaughlin. Jacobs. Peyton, the second with the steal, and is going to try to escape and run it down, and does. Jacobs fouls him, and how about that? Gary Peyton, the second. Multiple steals again. 12 straight games, he's had multiple steals and his proud dad on hand. McLaughlin with the clock running down. It's over at Gill Coliseum. And Oregon State it remains perfect at home. They are now 12-0. This Oregon State story is real. It's not a fluke.